Tony Thursday is when the big ship of the week comes in. It's also when all the inner island uh, barges come in. But uh, you'll notice the waterfront is missing uh, the big ship of the week. As a result, a lot of the freight that comes off the big ship of the week goes onto the barges for the neighbor islands. So until it shows up, they're not going to start loading the barges either. But it's been about at least two weeks of a, a community list that's four pages long, which means we just work until we run out of time and then continue on the next day. We've been doing that for a couple of weeks straight. Today was the first first time that the community list has shrunk to three pages, which means we'll finish at three. But better than that, the big ship of the week isn't in, which means tomorrow the community list will probably be like two pages. So we're finally going to get caught up today. Between yesterday and today, we're, we're just, a, I think we're pretty much there. In fact, there, there's drivers that are already going home because there's nothing to do. But I was off yesterday, so I probably won't be one of those drivers. <laughs> so now I'm kind of curious as to what else dispatch has us to do. We just finished up our fifth movement. We came in, we took a load of plastic products down to the plastic distributor. We stood by and did the little pallet jack workout and offloaded. Took the empty out to the Waikeli self storage, put it on their dock. Then we ran over to a, a, a used appliance store and uh, Wahiwa. And uh, they had a load going to the shipping terminal that was going to uh, Samoa. At that point we ran out to the other side of the island, picked up an empty from a window company brought that back here to the shipping terminal and then we bobtailed back to our terminal and picked up the empty which we just brought into the shipping terminal. So we're just cleaning up the community, getting all the empties picked up. So head on down to the Navy Supply Distribution Center and pick up their empties. So yeah, the big ship of the week is supposed to come in sometime this afternoon. But uh, there won't be that many containers coming out before 5 o'clock when they close the terminal. But they're going to reopen the terminal tonight at 11 o'clock. And we got some drivers coming in to, to work the LTLs tonight. Not me, but... There's at least three drivers that I know of. I saw the trucks in the yard. They're the guys that went home early today. So let's over, head over to the Navy Supply Distribution and see how many entries they have. I guess this, that's where everybody else is probably headed to. So we made our way over to the Navy Supply Distribution, picked up one of their empties, but the blood is in the water because all the drivers are showing up. <laughs> if we're picking up these empties over here, we know we've hit the bottom of the barrel because probably the least highest priority containers we got. It's always good to have the you know a supply of containers that you can always go to when things get slow, but that hasn't happened for at least a, at least a solid two to maybe three weeks. There's a driver dedicated to the the Navy supply distribution every day, so just like we dedicate a driver to the solar panels every day. So it's their job to do the minimum. But uh a little more than a 
minimum, that means uh, you get to take a break after a while. Anyway, so take this empty 40 foot container. Is it 40? No, it's a 45 foot container. Back to the shipping terminal, Sand Island. This will be our sixth movement of the day. Uh, there's another one coming. If we're lucky, we might be able to come back here and get another empty. But the <laughs> once those run out, we're we're out we're out of out of work. Dispatch will probably pick one, maybe two drivers, just to hang around till four o'clock, just to cover anything that should come up. But, else go home. 45 footer this guy is sticking way out here on the stop line too. Back to the shipping terminal is about six miles. Six miles, six movement of the day. The time is 12.43.
yard is pretty empty. There's nothing on the dock. We got two containers in the middle of the yard. Those are going to the big boxes tonight. And the back of the fence line is kind of maybe 15 containers so those are all going to be spots tomorrow some of them are empties to be loaded for the neighbor island get back here so these are the days i like to take an extra hour and um, work on the truck we're just gonna clear everything out of the cab wipe everything down and then throw out the garbage and take home stuff that doesn't need to be in the truck package of these are the medical paper towels they use in um like a dentist's office that put around your bib there's a dumpster full of them so i took a package but it doesn't need to be in the truck but i will use them at home for cleaning up after the cats that's a never-ending cycle take the cats outside they eat grass they run inside throw up on the carpet <laughs> every day so that, that'll be good for that but yeah we came in at 6 we did 6 movements we drove 130 miles easy day going home at 2 o'clock so got a lot of leftovers but I'm going to make a salad and a pot of rice and maybe cook up a big batch of beans and then uh, that'll hold us till the weekend Got some hot dogs I wanna, hot dogs and sauerkraut I wanna get into. So that's the plan. If I'm gonna be home early, might as well do some cooking. But that's about it for this day. Thanks for watching. Aloha. Now I get a picture of the yard with only 17 containers. Because normally we try to keep right around 40. Coming in, going out, storage. See how well they do tonight. See if they can fill up the yard overnight. Not headed over.